Assalamu alaikum. My dear students, welcome to the online class of Birgans Pilot Government High School. How are you? Yes, hope you all are well, safe and sound at your home. I am also well by the grace of Allah. In this pandemic period, you are confined in your home. So, in this crucial time, we are presenting our class in a different way, in a digital way. So, try to watch all the classes continuously and try to take notes and practice at your home so that your study can't stop. Uh, I am Laila Froza. You know me very well, Assistant Teacher English, Birgans Government High School. Today, I will take another class of English second paper for class 9 and 10. And I will continue my topic on transformation of sentences. So, dear students, take your notebook and pen and try to write down the important points and take notes from this class. Okay, students, let's, let's start. In our previous classes, we discussed the rule of transformation of sentences. We discussed on several rules to transform simple sentences into complex. Today, I would like to start from rule number 10. Dear learners, you have already seen that there are so many structure of simple sentences. Here, if you find any simple sentence that starts with present participle, that means verb plus ing, how you will change it into a complex sentence? Look at the example sentence. Going home, I found my brother asleep. In complex, it will be when I went home, I found my brother asleep. Look at the change. Going home, this phrase has been turned into a clause. Adding when. After when, we have taken a subject, then a finite verb, and then object or extension. And the second clause remains unchanged. Let's see another example. Closing the door, I went out. In complex, it will be when I closed the door, I went out. So, perhaps you have seen that sentences like this starts starting with present participle. In complex, it starts with when. And again, you will remember that you have to turn the phrase of simple sentence into a clause when you want to make it a complex. Here, you will remember another thing. If it shows any cause or reason, then you have to use since or as in place of when. Let's see an example. Sitting idle, he missed the train. Sitting idle, he missed the train. That means he missed the train because of sitting idly. So if you want to make it complex, you have to use as or since. As he sat idle, he missed the train. So if the present participle shows any reason, then it will be better to use since or as in place of when. Okay, now go to the next rule. Sometimes you will find some sentences that will start with being. Look at the example sentence. Being ill, she could not attend the party. And the complex of it will be as since or because you can choose any one of the subordinate conjunction. She was ill. She could not attend the party. Again here, being ill, this phrase 
has been turned into a clause as since or because she was ill adding a subordinating conjunction then a subject then a finite verb and then extension and here the second clause remains unchanged another example being healthy she is always happy the complex of this sentence will be as since or because she is healthy she is always happy again the phrase has been turned into a clause by adding a subject and a finite verb here you can write the sentence in another way if you write she is always happy as she is healthy or she is always happy since or because she is healthy it will also be correct if you write the subordinate conjunction at the middle of the two clauses then you don't need to use any comma but if you write the subordinating conjunction at the beginning of the sentence then you will have to use a comma after the first clause so remember the structure simple sentence started with being will be turned into this way in complex as since or because after that you have to choose a subject and then you have to use am is or was or were as a finite verb and then extension and the second change clause will remain unchanged clear now dear student in another rule you can see here is another kind of participle which is called perfect participle if you find have plus ing and then the past participle of the verb it is called perfect participle look at the example sentence the sun having said we started for home the sun having said this is a phrase you have to turn it into a clause when the sun had said we started for home here you have to add, add when then the subject and the finite verb had in place of having and then past participle and you notice here the second clause will remain unchanged another example having done the work he went away in complex the sentence will be when he had done the work he went away these two clauses are added by the subordinating conjunction when so remember the construction of this type of complex sentence you have to write when then you have to make a subject and then had and after had the verb will be turned into present past participle and then extension and after that the second clause will remain unchanged now another rule sometimes you will get some sentences like this noun 1 plus verb plus noun 2 this means sub noun as a subject then verb and noun as an object look at the example sentence health is wealth how you will change the sentence into a complex in this type of sentences you will have to add it is then the first noun after that you have will have to write which is and then the second noun so the sentence will be it is health which is wealth again seeing is believing it is seeing which is believing so if you find this type of sentence where noun one is used as subject then verb and another noun as an object then you will make it complex by adding it is then the first noun after that which is and then after that the second noun as object okay clear
now another rule a positive of subject or object in a simple sentence do you know the word a positive of subject or object let me explain a positive a positive means when two noun or noun phrases sit side by side and identifies each other look at the sentence then it will be more clear tanvir captain of the class has become first here tanvir captain of the class Tan tanvir's identity is revealed in the second phrase captain of the class who is tanvir captain of the class so these are appositives if you find this type of simple sentence then you will have to add who between the two phrases noun or noun phrase tanvir who is the captain of the class has become first another example where appositive is used as an object i met anisul haq a great writer of the time the complex of this sentence will be i met anisul haq who is a great writer of the time so you have observed that if you get any appositive or subject or object you will have to use who or which to make a new clause and turn it into a complex sentence okay let's go to another rule rule number 15 simple sentence with noun or noun phrase sometimes you will get this type of sentences look at the example sentence i don't know his father's name if you want to make it complex you will have to write i don't know what his father's name is the father's name this noun phrase has been turned into a clause what his father's name is now it has become a complex sentence another example i am sure of his success the complex of this sentence will be i am sure that he will succeed so remember if you find a simple sentence with noun or noun phrase you have to turn the phrase into a noun clause by adding what when where or that to make it a complex sentence so dear students uh, i like i would like to finish here we have already discussed so many rules and if you practice the rules at your home i think you will be able to turn any simple sentence into a complex sentence for your better practice i would like to give you some sentences for practice at your home you will change these simple sentences into complex and you will if you practice more and more your you will be more efficient in this case so dear students i would like to finish here i thank you for watching the class and again advise you not to go out keep yourself safe and be aware yourself and make others also aware of this corona virus or covid 19 and i hope to present you more classes in this digital way so keep on watching the classes and thank you again Allah Hafiz